I wanted to talk today about something I call marketer's intuition. Before we get into that, let's talk about the difference between intuition and instinct. Because sometimes, especially in business, those are kind of used interchangeably and they're very different. Instinct is a survival tool that's part of our reptilian and mammalian brain. Um, it is the thing that senses danger and holds on to resources and in kind of a spiritual context, it's often referred to as the ego mind that has instincts. Sometimes it's right, most of the time it's wrong, unless you're in a dangerous situation. Intuition comes from a different place. Now I can't explain it, and that not being able to explain it goes back thousands of years to things like the muse or inspiration or what the Greeks called Sophia or Gnostic, which was around wisdom. But there's something in us that does have a sense of knowing, and that's what intuition is. Now, if you're a marketer, which could be self-employed, doing your own marketing, or you're the head of marketing for a larger organization, there's a great emphasis on data, and data is important. But intuition is data too. That sense of knowing is data too. So how do you develop this intuition inside of yourself as a marketer? Number one is you need to practice and get really good at inner and outer listening. So inner listening is contemplativeness. That's where meditation comes in or mindfulness practices or just sitting and being quiet and letting the silt of the mind settle down. Outer listening is like it sounds. It's going out and listening, but that comes from asking great questions. I don't know if it's possible to have marketer's intuition and not be able to ask great questions. And especially if you go out and ask questions of the front line, the customer service people, the sales people, the, the, the front line staff. The second thing you need in order to develop marketer's intention is critical thinking. We all bring our biases and our certain mindsets and perspectives to everything. And once you get rolling as a marketing person, we tend to pick up tendencies. And one of those tendencies is that we believe our own bullshit. And so critical thinking is the pause to go, hmm, I wonder if that's true, or huh, how did I arrive at that conclusion? Or why did I react that way to the feedback that I received? That's all part of critical thinking or observational thinking, if you will. Speaking of thinking, the third thing that we need to do to develop marketer's intuition is to think with the heart. Now, I know that might sound a little bit woo, so hear me out. Thinking with the heart means seeing everything through the lens of humanity, um, through compassion, through uh, being awareness, an awareness of the humanity of others. And we marketers tend to treat humans as abstract. You know, they're, we call them targets or constituents or they're kind of distant from us, but they are just like us and they have their hopes, fears, and dreams as well. So when you think with the heart, you're thinking about the human first. You're thinking about their needs and how you would like to meet those needs. And then you can craft marketing language that is about connecting with them as a human rather than persuading them to do something as an audience. So I'd be curious to hear from you if you feel like you have marketer's intuition. I would love if you would leave some comments about that or send me a direct message.